Hey guys, good morning. Glad you are with me. Uh, welcome. My name is Lisa Beth. I'm your instructor. You are in a Pilates inspired fitness class. Happy Wednesday. And for props today, we're going to use dumbbells and a pillow. Uh, so what kind of a pillow? Well, kind of a smaller pillow that's not too heavy, uh, like couch pillow or something along those lines. Okay. And then guys, let's, we'll begin by holding onto that pillow. And then let's bend that left knee right behind us. If this is not safe for you, you can keep those toes down. Keeping those knees together, guys, let's twist to one side and center and the other side and center and continue. If you're with me on YouTube today, I'd like to welcome you. And Linda, just joining us, I'd like to welcome you too. Nice to see you, glad oh, you are here coming into a balanced challenge. For props today, we're using a pillow and dumbbells. All right, and then the next time you're at center, pause. Begin to energetically pull that pillow apart, pull it into the chest and reach it forward and do it again and continue. With this simple move, guys, I'd like to re, uh, take the opportunity to request of you to keep your workout with me today pain-free. As always, comfortably uncomfortable is okay, but pain is not, so please take care of your sweet body so you feel better after class, not worse. All right, guys, we're breathing. If you're losing that right ankle in that knee, which I see that I am, well, let's go ahead and recommit to that for three whoop, and two and one and come to center. All right, guys, then let's uh, recommit to that foot in that right angle. I tend to keep losing it and then reach the pillow down to one side. We'll bend the standing knee, bringing the foot behind us. And then let's reach that arm back, come to center, and then bend, reaching that booty back and continue and breathe. Yep. So we're really feeling the booty cheek and the leg, which is on the ground Woo, for four and three balance challenge and two Woo, and one and come back to center. Well done. All right, take a little step apart with those feet and just toss and catch that pillow and do it again and continue. I'm realizing my camera is a little askew. There we go, I think that's better. All right, for three and two and one and come to center. All right, guys, then let's take the other knee and bring it into tabletop. All right, pull that pillow straight out in front. Energetically begin to pull that pillow apart and then bring it to the chest and reach forward and do it again and again and continue. As we're energetically pulling that pillow apart, it's like we wanna tear it in half. Begin to notice how we're feeling uh, additional muscles engaged. Oops, oh my gosh, totally forgot. We have the knee behind us. And breathe in that right angle for four and three and two. Okay, next time that pillow is out, pause. And then let's twist to one side and center and the other side and center. Oh my gosh, and continue. If you're having a hard time, don't take yourself too seriously. Just know that you're improving by practicing. <laughs> wow, this is so much harder for me on this side and breathe, uh-huh, recommit to that uh, 90 degree angle in that knee if that's available to you. Woo, for three, and two, and one, and come to center. All right, guys, and then let's bend the knee, bringing that booty back in space. Still trying to keep these knees together. By the way, so one knee is not forward or behind, that are together. And then from here, guys, let's reach those arms forward and overhead and forward and breathe for three and two and one. And then let's drop the pillow to one side, reach it forward and the other side. And what? Continue and breathe. Yeah. Committing to that 
bent knee for three. We'll do this set a little bit shorter on this side because there's something else I want to do. And the next time you have it back behind, pause and then grab onto it with both hands. All right, holding onto that pillow with both hands, use that as leverage to pull those shoulders back. And then guys, with those shoulders back, let's begin to lift and lower, lift and lower, recommit to that squat. I know you're feeling it, I am too. Balance challenge, Ooh, for four, and three, two, and one, and come to center. Well done. All right, guys, take a little step apart with those feet, and then bend the knees, reach the pillow back with one arm, come up and switch and switch and continue. So I always talk about uh, not swinging or using gravity and momentum as we're going through a range of motion. But for this one, it, it's, uh, it's okay to do that. I'm interested in big movements here. The only thing is for safety is we wanna keep those knees behind the toes. Yep, this big movement guys, we're moving the major muscle groups of the body and working with those arms overhead lends to increasing that heart rate. So you might be feeling uh, slightly out of breath. That's a good thing for four and three and two and one and come back to center. All right, guys, then let's just hug that pillow. I, I did this last time we worked with the pillow. It was really sweet. Just gently rock from side to side, hug that pillow, close your eyes, feel that sense of moving through space without your sense of vision to guide you. And then as you're hugging that pillow, imagine you're hugging somebody who, who you would really enjoy hugging. <sighs> Just think about that person. And then think about three things you like about that person that you appreciate. <sighs> For three and two and one, and come to center and open those eyes. All right, let's keep that pillow in towards our body. And then take that left foot, hover it in space, and then twist from side to side. Actually, we're not going to twist from side to side. Uh, so let's stand still with that left foot hovering in space. This time we'll keep those toes very near to the ground. Uh-huh, and then from here in stillness, let's, if it's safe, close one eye, and what? Maybe the other eye coming into a balanced challenge. Certainly opening those eyes at any time, placing those toes down at any time. Remember, I want you to feel better after class, not worse. And if you fall, it is unlikely that you will feel better after class. So whew, for three and two and one and come to center and open those eyes. Well done guys. Then let's kick the other foot back, knees together, and then just hover that foot in space. And you guessed it, in stillness, let's close one eye, maybe the other eye. Another option is, guys, is you can keep your eyes open and then when you blink, just pause. So that's another way to uh, safely remove that sense of vision. What we're doing here in, in fitness lingo is we are challenging our sense of proprioception and that's a whoop, fancy world in the fitness industry, which means uh, knowing where your body is in space and without that sense of vision, it is more challenging for three and two and one and come to center. Well done. All right, and then let's come back into that squat, bringing that booty back, those knees behind the toes, and let's just swing that pillow up and switch and switch and continue. Woo. You guys, all my, all my life students with me today are uh, my Facebook friends. So you know that I, I have this super exciting, for me, modeling gig in, um, in LA uh, on Monday. And one of the things they had me do was stand there with my eyes closed. And they had this camera, it was kind of interesting. It was different than just a camera taking photographs. It was like this thing that video recorded and it would slide on this piece of equipment and slide back. Anyways, it took about probably 25 seconds for it to complete its circuit. And they had me close my eyes for that whole time. And I was like rocking back and forth. And I'm so glad that we've been doing all this balance work because it certainly helped me. For three and two 
and one and come to center. Let's take that pillow, reach it back behind again. And then energetically pull that pillow apart using that as leverage. Uh-oh, I hope they're not going to start a lot of construction. At any rate, using that as leverage to pull those shoulders back and then kick that left foot back. All right, and then if it is safe for you, let's lift in space, thinking about making a long straight line from that heel to the chest, to the waist, to the shoulders, to the head, with the exception of the hands, which are elevated. And then holding this, let's lift and lift and lift. So we're lifting the pillow, not the leg. Oh, and breathe. Really feeling those triceps. And then as you lift those arms, let's do begin to lift the leg. Woo, now really feeling that back booty cheek. Quite a bit for four and three. Oh my gosh. And two and one and come to center. Oh, holy cow. All right. And then going straight into the other side. Let's reach those arms back, using that as leverage to pull those shoulders back and down. We'll get the other foot out behind, lift those arms, and begin to lean forward. And again, think about that long straight line from the heel to the chest, add to the waist to the shoulders to the head, balancing. Mm -hmm. And then let's take those arms and lift and lift. <laughs> you guys are super solid. I'm all over the place and breathe and continue. Yeah, looking good. Woo, feeling this quite a bit. And then you guessed it. Let's begin to lift the leg with the arms. Oh, feeling this in so many places. Breathing, keeping that core tight, guys, as it supports us. Woo, for four and three, ah, and two and one and come back to center. Oh my gosh, so that clearly is going to give us that super nice definition in the arms as well as other places. Coming back into the squat, let's bring that pillow into the chest and then maintain the squat, kick one leg back, reach back, reach that pillow forward, come to center and switch and switch and continue and breathe. I feel like I'm a jazz dancer with a baton. <laughs> yeah. Committing to that squat. If this is if it, at all, guys, if anybody has back issues and this is talking to you, you can just come up to an upright position and kick one foot back and the other foot back, which in fact, I'm going to do that today. Yep, taking care of my body. So I listen to my own advice. You are breathing, hollowing out that belly. May we'll talk to the spine. Oh, just a simple move after that work we did with the arms behind. I'm really feeling this quite a bit with my arms. I wonder how much my pillow weighs. Oh, it feels kind of heavy now. For four and three, that's because uh, my muscles are fatigued. And two and one and come to center. All right, guys, let's place that pillow on the head. Uh huh. And then you see when you step back and be in the camera. Pillow on the head, you can see the top part. And then let's try two. Ah! <laughs> Let's try to balance it and gently remove those fingertips from the pillow. Uh-huh. And breathe. <laughs> wow, you guys look really solid. Maybe I can join you in opening my arms to a T. Breathe. All right, guys. Maybe we'll just talk to the spine. Maybe close one eye, maybe close the other eye and breathe. Ah. God, I just lost my pillow. All right, guys, continue. Unless you lose your pillow, grab it and let's come back into it and breathe. But I lost my pillow again. For three, oh my gosh, you guys look amazing. And two, holy cow. And one and open those eyes and take that pillow off your head. Okay, you guys seriously made that look easy. Give me a thumbs up if that was hard. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Well, uh, maybe I, I wonder if it has to do with 
the density of one's pillow. But at any rate, you guys did a fabulous job. We're going to switch gears and take this down to the mat. So remember those dumbbells? Let's go ahead and have them close by and keep your pillow close by. All right, guys. And then from here, let's come all the way down to a lying down position. Take that pillow and place it under your left foot. Okay, and grab those dumbbells. All right, guys, from here. Oh my gosh, my back just popped like three times. Let's reach those arms straight overhead and bring your right knee into a tabletop. And then we'll uh, keep the elbows above the shoulders, bending both elbows, bringing those dumbbells down by your head as you kick your right leg straight, bend that knee into tabletop and reach those arms overhead and do it again and continue. Breathing. And then guys, begin to allow that left foot on the pillow to just touch the pillow lightly and continue. I am not going to do that. Uh, that would not feel good for my back. But if that feels okay for you, go ahead and do that. And notice how much more challenging this is. So you still have your foot on the pillow, but it's just very, very lightly touching the pillow. And breathe, hollowing out that belly for three and two and one. Keep those arms up to the ceiling. And then guys, let's place that right foot on the mat. Uh, both knees bent. Okay, for this next sequence, we're going to keep the head down. Uh, go ahead and uh, press naturally into that uh, left foot on the pillow and lift those hips. All right. From here, let's hover that foot uh, so it's lightly touching the pillow, thus most of the weight is in that right foot. And then let's lower the booty, bend the elbows, lift the booty, reach those arms up to the ceiling, and do it again, and continue. So it's kind of like uh, if you have a pillow that uh, squishes down, like your weight on it, it's like you're trying to let it not squish down, <laughs> but still have your foot on it. Oh! and breathe, feeling this quite a bit. Man, even my dumbbells feel really heavy after that, that work that we did with the pillow behind the back. That was surprisingly strenuous. Begin to notice if those elbows are moving around and if so, prevent that for three and two. And the next time those arms are up overhead, pause. All right, then let, remember, we're lightly touching that pillow. Holding the static hold in the lower body, let's pivot those palms so they're facing each other. Softness in the elbows, open those arms out to the side, and then hug a tree and do it again and continue. Woo! And breathe. Uh huh. Keeping that head down. By the way, guys, if ever you want to figure out what we're doing, if I lost you with my verbal cues and you want to look up at the screen, just uh, lower those hips first. So. Uh, anytime we lift the head, uh, we want the hips down. And another way to say that is anytime those hips are lifted, we want the head down. Okay, for four and three, ah, really feeling this in that right booty cheek and two, going for that perky booty and one and lower everything down. All right, guys, let's take a step apart with those feet. So we're straddling the pillow with the feet. And shimmy those knees from side to side. Feeling that booty massage. Notice if one cheek feels a little different than the other. We'll fix that in just a moment for three and two and a one and come to center. Okay, let's gently kick that pillow over towards the right and place that right foot on it. Okay. This time we'll reach the arms into uh, a goalpost position. And then let's bring that left knee into tabletop. Okay, uh, so we'll start with the foot pressing into the pillow. Kick that leg along, reach those arms up to the ceiling, bend the knee, reach your arms into goalpost and do it again and continue. And then if you wish, if it feels all right for you, Maybe begin to uh, let that foot hover almost and just lightly touch that pillow while you're going through this range of motion. And breathe. 
Yep, looking good, guys, for four and three, two, and one. Good. And then let's take that left foot. We'll put it on the mat. Uh, lightly hover that right foot. Take an inhale as you exhale. Let's lift those hips. Okay, guys. And then reach those arms up to the ceiling. And we will lower those hips, bend those elbows, uh, coming into that skull crusher move. And then lift those hips and straighten those arms. And do it again. And continue. You are breathing, keeping that head down, trying to keep those elbows directly above the shoulders the whole time, beginning to fill that smile line quite a bit in that left booty cheek. And whoo, yeah, definitely feeling that. That foot is lightly, just super lightly resting on the pillow. So we're kicking all that work over to the left side. Whoo. By the way, also we're having to pay attention to just having that light touch on the pillow. So it's increasing our mind body connection. Cause I don't know about you, but my, my heel wants to just press into that pillow. So I have to purposefully avoid that. Okay, next time everything is lifted, pause, keep it lifted. That foot is just lightly touching the pillow. And then let's open those arms out to the side, out to a T, palms facing up, roundness in those elbows, hug a tree. Open, hug a tree, and continue moving those arms slowly through space. Uh huh, breathing, really feeling that left side lower body a lot. Uh huh, begin to move those arms in slow mo and notice how much more challenging this is. Ooh, and where's that right foot? Are you squishing the pillow? I kind of am a little bit. I caught myself. And then let's begin to make sure that we're just lightly touching that pillow. And now my arms are moving faster. So it's really hard to like focus on all these things at the same time. And that's uh, part of the magic of Pilates is uh, focusing on these things and increasing that mind-body connection. It always reminds me of that old carnival game, Whack-A-Mole. It's like, you get one thing in order and then something else needs attention. And then you get that in order and then that first thing needs attention. All right, for two and one. And then let's bend the arms, rest the elbows down and lower that booty. Nice job. Straddle that pillow with those feet. And then let's open those arms to a T and windshield wiper those knees from side to side. Feeling that booty massage. I just had a thought, you guys, foam roll Friday is going to be awesome after all this booty work for four and three, two and one and come to center. Okay, guys, from here, let's come into a crunch position with the head, neck and torso. Hug that left knee in, kick that right leg long, just in a resting position. Just hold that knee in towards the chest. Feeling that stretch. And then keep that right hip down. You can place your right hand on the right hip bone and then open that left knee out to the side. Feeling that terrific stretch in that inner thigh and groin area. By the way, uh, if it feels better for you to have your head down, that's totally an option. Oh, and breathe for three, two, and one, let's bring that knee back up to the ceiling and then place your right fingertips on the outside of that left knee. Open your left arm to a T and then take that right knee across the body. It's okay for that left hip to lift up. In fact, it will if you're able to, if you have the range of motion to bring that knee down towards the mat. My knee is hovering, oh, I would guess four, four or five inches. But if you have that range of motion to touch, go ahead and do so. Uh -huh. And if it doesn't feel good to apply a gentle, notice I'm highlighting the word gentle, amount of pressure on that knee, you can, you can release that and just allow gravity to gently pull it down. I'm actually going to go with that option today. But if you also go with that option, then you're welcome to open both arms to a T. And just feel this side body stretch. Ah, and breathe. Maybe think about uh, three things that you're grateful for. <sighs> for 
for three and two and one and come back to center. All right, guys. Then coming back into that crunch position, let's hug that right knee into the chest and just feel that terrific stretch. And again, of course, if this crunch is not feeling great for you, just omit it. Woo, and breathe. Wow, it is uh, cloudy in Southern California today. It's really pretty out my window. I see flowers and then they're white. And then I, I see sort of the white sky behind you. It's a nice uh, light contrast. All right, guys, and then let's place the left hand on that left hip, open that right knee out to the right, feeling that stretch and breathing. And again, you can place your head down if that's better for you. Oh. Breathe, feeling that stretch in that uh, groin and inner thigh area. So good. All right, guys. And then let's bring that knee back to center. And then if you are in that crunch position, go ahead and lie flat, taking the left fingertips to the outside of the right knee. Open that right arm to a T palm, can be up or down, whatever feels best for you. And then let's drape that hip over or that knee over the body, over to the left. And again, you can apply a gentle pressure if that feels good. If that doesn't feel good, you're welcome to open those arms to a T. So um, guys, I really want you to, as you know, because I've said many times, and I'm going to say it again because it's so important, I really want you to feel better after class. So if applying pressure and making this a gentle active stretch doesn't feel good for you, you can just relax and let gravity gently uh, facilitate the stretch for you. And, uh, and again, that's what I'm going to go for today. Ah, and breathe. For three, and two, and one, and come back to center. All right, guys, then grab that pillow with your feet, hand it to your hands, and then let's lower, um, both feet down if they're lifted and lower your head down. Uh, okay, so both knees are bent, both feet are flat. Take that pillow, put it in between the knees, arms at the side. Let's start with those palms up this time. Uh huh. And then keeping the head down, take an inhale as you exhale. Let's lift those hips and keep them lifted. All right, guys, and then squeeze the pillow and hold. Squeezing super tight, continue the squeeze, taking that static hold, muscles are active, squeezing those booty cheeks, squeezing those thighs together, squeezing those knees together, squishing that pillow, Woo! keeping the head down and breathing for four and three, two, keep those hips lifted, release the squeeze, and then squeeze and release, squeeze and release, and continue. So now we're uh, holding some muscles in an isometric contraction, and then we're engaging other muscles and then releasing that engagement. So it's a slightly different sensation. <laughs> and breathe for four and three and two. All right, keep those knees lifted, release the squeeze, and then guys, let's lift those heels. So we're on the tippy toes. On the tippy toes, let's squeeze that pillow. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So this time we're taking that static hold, holding the squeeze. Let's gently press the back of our palms and our arms into the mat, keeping the head down. Uh -huh. So we're taking an isometric contraction now with our upper body, with those arms gently pressing into the mat. And then we've got that huge static Hold in the lower body on the tippy toes, squeezing that pillow, feeling this all the way from the booty down to the heels. So on the tippy toes, we've invited those calves to the party. And notice how this is beginning to feel different in your body the longer you hold this statics hold. And then guys, keep those hips lifted, continue pressing those arms into the mat, which by the way is a heart opening thing. And then let's release the squeeze and then squeeze and release and continue and breathe. Oh, 
Yeah. Good thing that's quite a bit for four and three and two. And then we'll do one more static hold. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Can you lift those heels higher? Defining those calf muscles quite a bit. <sighs> squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. Head is down. Breathing for five and four. I'm even feeling this in my ankles and my shin area. And three and two. And release and lower that booty. Ah, well done, guys. Then remove the pillow from between your knees and place it overhead. Reach those arms straight up to the ceiling. Gently tear that pillow apart. And then if it feels okay for you, let's lift one knee into an uh, externally rotated tabletop and then the other knee as well. Okay, so those knees are separated. And then take an inhale as you exhale, reach that pillow between the knees, up overhead, between the knees, up overhead. And then as you reach that pillow between the knees, guys, if you wish, kick one leg long, bring it in, other leg long, bring it in and continue. And then finally, if you wish, you can kick both legs long and bring them in. And I'm going to continue with one leg and then the other leg. But certainly if you want more of a challenge and it's agreeable for your body, you are welcome to kick both legs out at the same time. You guys look awesome. I've seen pillows and legs. <laughs> I love it. And breathe. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love it. You guys, you guys are so cute. For five and four. Wow, I'm really feeling this quite a bit. Uh, think about it. We've got lower abdominals because those uh, legs are suspended in space. And we've got upper abdominals, uh, abdominals because we're maintaining this crunch position for four and three, woo, two and one. And then lower those feet down, take that pillow and put it behind your head. <sighs> okay, pillow behind the head. Let's kick those legs out long. Just find a comfortable resting position. And I want you to bring the arms to your sides with your palms facing up, guys. Palms facing up. And then I want you to press the back of your arms into the mat and slightly lift your chest forward and then release and do it again and continue. Those palms are facing up. You're pressing the outer portion of your shoulders into the mat so much that uh, your, the center of your spine in contact with the mat releases uh, its contact with the mat, perhaps, or is just lightly touching the mat. Oh, and breathe for three and two. And the next time you're pressing those shoulders down, pause. This time, guys, let's keep the back lightly in contact with the mat. Um, yep, so there's contact throughout your entire back on the mat. Well, okay, let me say that differently. You might have a little bit of space between your waist and the mat. That's called a neutral spine, and that's a good thing. Uh, but you're not uh, pressing the spine flat, nor are you purposefully arching it uh, in the lower area. However, in the uh, mid-back, like where your bra strap connects in between the shoulder blades, your back is lightly touching the mat. Pressing the arms and the back of the hands, so the palms are facing up into the mat. I know this is a super long static hold, it's on purpose. And then guys, gently press your skull, the base of your skull into the pillow and release and do it again and release and continue. What we're doing here guys is we're uh, training the muscles in our head and our neck area. By the way, this is all super gentle to be familiar with the idea of having that head a little bit more back in space than it normally is. Frequently, our head juts forward as we're tending to our life, just as the uh, torso does in the upper spine area. So we're, we're spending time undoing all of that right now for three. Still uh, maintaining that static hold of the out, outer portion of the shoulders into the mat and then just pressing and releasing the head and two, the lower portion and one, good. And then just come to a completely relaxed position. All right, you can take those hands uh, slightly away from the hips if you wish and just lie flat. 
and close your eyes and notice how your spine feels and the shoulders feel and the head feels. Allow that head to be heavy into the pillow. And just notice the pressure of the outer portion of your back in contact. Uh, so that would be like the back of the shoulder area in contact with the mat and breathe for four and three, two, and one. All right, guys, moving on. Let's grab that pillow from underneath us and let's come to a side line position. Placing the pillow between the knees. And uh, for this sequence, guys, you can have your elbow directly under your shoulder. You can lie flat with your ear resting on your bicep, or you can uh, come into a uh, head resting on the hand situation. We've got the pillow between the knees and we'll reach those knees directly in front of the hips. Okay, navel is tucked to the spine. Let's lift those ankles. Take those fingertips, place them on your waist. Gently press those fingertips into your waist and notice how you're feeling those muscles active. So we're just going to take this static hold for a moment. And I wanna take this opportunity to uh, give you a little more information about that exercise that we were just doing. So our head is pretty heavy and as it jets forward, uh, it strains the neck and it makes that uncomfortable posture or that poor posture more comfortable and it rounds the shoulders forward. So correct posture is having those ears directly above the shoulders. So in pressing our head into the pillow, uh, what we were doing was facilitating that uh, sensation that would be more likely to keep the ears over the shoulders more comfortably. All right. Are you breathing? Are you pressing those fingertips into that midsection, feeling those muscles really pop awake and breathe? And then guys, let's lower those heels and lift, lower and lift and continue really sucking in that tummy. I want you to, um, with your thumb, reach it gently back behind the waist and see if you can begin to recruit those muscles and feel them active. They're not necessarily going to move, so you might not feel them moving underneath you, but I want you to feel them taut and engaged. Your core goes all the way around your spine, and uh, you can use your thought process and your breath actually to recruit those muscles. And it's like cinching a corset tighter using your muscles. So uh, try to find that and breathe. If you exhale loudly, like you're blowing out birthday candles, begin to do that. And notice how you can really feel those muscles engage. Okay, we've been doing this a while. This probably felt super easy in the beginning. Not so much anymore, right? <laughs> Feeling this quite a bit for four and three and two. Okay, switching this up. The next time those knees are lifted, keep them lifted. Take that front hand, place it on the mat in front of you. And then guys, let's lift both knees and lower and lift and lower. It's okay if uh, for comfort's sake, you need to roll a little bit back on that more fleshy goodness area of the booty if this is hurting your hip bone and breathe Whew. for four and three. The next time those knees are lifted, keep them lifted. Squeeze the pillow and release. Squeeze and release and continue and breathe. Hollowing out that belly. Oh, I'm feeling this quite a bit. The next time you're squeezing, maintain that static squeeze. Lower those knees and lift, lower and lift and breathe. Those feet are still suspended in space. You are squeezing that pillow. Oh my gosh, for four, woo, three, breathing, two, and then lower those knees down. Oh man, felt that a lot. Let's reach both arms forward and then take that top arm up and over. Okay, if it feels good to you, you can melt that right shoulder down to the mat and maybe look over those right fingertips if that feels good to you or not. So it's entirely up to you. <sighs> and breathe for four, three, two, and one. All right, guys, pivot, 
So you're lying on your back. Knees bent, feet flat, come up onto those elbows. And then let's drape that pillow across the hips and place those hands behind you. Okay, and then take an inhale as you exhale. Let's lift those hips. All right, then we are going to crab walk. So we're going to switch the direction of our head and our feet. <laughs> so we're looking in the opposite direction. And then just for fun, if this is uh, bothersome for your body, uh, any other way to move is fine and taking a rest at any time is fine. Let's lower that booty and lift, lower and lift and continue. Uh huh. Squeeze those booty cheeks when you come to the top. Woo! Yeah, we work those quite a bit, so uh, it's not going to take long to feel this. A lot. And breathe. By the way, your fingertips can be facing forward to the outside or back, whichever feels best for you. The only thing is I do not want you to hyperextend your elbow. So if your elbows are slightly bent forward, and I think mine just were, even though I didn't think they were, uh, soften them just a little bit. For three and two. And the next time you're up, stay up. Bend one knee, put it down. Bend the other knee, put it down. I know reverse planks don't work for everyone. If you're in that category, you can do this entire sequence lying down for three and two and one. And then lower that booty down. Place that pillow between the knees. And you guessed it. Let's come back to that sideline position, whichever one feels best for your anatomy today. Oh, okay. And then reach those knees in front of the hips, place the um, uh, loop your uh, between your thumb and your forefinger around your waist, and then gently press those fingertips into your midsection. Uh -huh. And then lift those feet. Okay, and breathe and just hold. And notice how it, it really doesn't feel like much to start with. And of course, as you know, that will change. But let's begin to use our breath to make sure we're recruiting those core muscles. So as you exhale, purposefully uh, use that breath loudly like you're blowing out birthday candles to feel those muscles recruited and then try to keep those muscles recruited when you inhale. Try to do that so much so that you don't feel those muscles contract and relax and contract and relax. You're able to feel them contracted the whole time. Good, and continue with that. Uh -huh. Looking good and breathe. Following up that belly. Yeah, and then guys, let's begin to invite some movement in and suddenly just holding this static hold is no longer feeling easy. But let's lower and lift, lower and lift, and continue still using that breath to ensure that our core is active. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. When I go, <sighs> I also feel those muscles active. <laughs> So I guess that's another way to make sure you're recruiting those core muscles. Also, by the way, uh, laughter is another way. So as I was laughing, I could also feel it. So there's multiple ways to, to increase that uh, core contraction. <laughs> and breathe, oh my gosh, for four and three, two. And the next time those feet are lifted, keep them lifted. Okay, keep all this super active, guys. Take that top hand and place it on the mat in front of you. And again, remember, it's okay to slightly roll back if you need to onto that fleshy goodness of the booty area. But let's begin to lift and lower those knees and breathe. Uh-huh, and breathe. By the way, I'm not checking my email. I'm checking the time because I know you guys are busy and I want to keep you on schedule. Ugh. Woo. Okay, guys, next time those knees are lifted, keep them lifted. Okay, holy cow, just feeling that quite a bit. And then let's squeeze the pillow and release, squeeze and release, and continue. And you're breathing. Oh. And they're doing construction again. Oh. Hopefully you guys can't hear it. Maybe the Zoom uh, will mute that out. <laughs> Hopefully it's not muting me out and focusing on that. Okay, at any rate, the next time you're squeezing, hold the squeeze. Hold, 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 hold. 
and breathe. Maintain that hold, guys. And then let's lift and lower those knees. Ugh. And breathe. They've actually done studies. And uh, apparently, uh, like in the gym, when people swear, they, they, they like tap into additional reserves of strength. And I think the reason is because it recruits those core muscles, just like it does when I was going, <laughs> no, that's kind of funny. I've never put that together. All right. I thought, I always thought it was a mental thing. And breathe for four. Oh my gosh. And three and two and oh, one. <sighs> and rest. Good job. Let's reach both arms forward. Take that top arm up and over as much as feels good for you. I'm going to keep my range of motion pretty tiny. <sighs> but it feels, if it feels okay for you, you can bring that shoulder all the way down to the mat. And look over those far fingertips if that feels good for you. I always thought I was kind of wussy with, with my back stuff because I've had it my whole life, even as a young girl. And uh, when I was up visiting my mom a couple of years ago, she told me that they wanted to put a steel rod in my spine when I was a kid. And I was like, oh, it's it like legit that, that I have back stuff. And ideally, like I wouldn't need that reinforcement to honor that back stuff even more. But um, that did take away the feeling of like, oh, I'm just being a wuss. I'm not strong enough or whatever. I don't know why I just shared that. But hopefully, uh, just take care of your body. We all, we all have these different issues with our bodies. I heard a phrase once, I didn't create my body, I was given my body and it's my job to take care of it. So it's your job to take care of your body. All right, so let's all celebrate the fact that we're taking care of our body by doing Pilates. You guys, let's press ourselves up to a seated position. I hope you are feeling fabulous. I can tell I've got that Pilates hair, you might too. Let's just take that pillow, set it to the side. However you wish, guys, let's come to a seated and then a standing position. Notice if you feel supported in that, um, in that spine area with your strong core. I do, it's kind of cool. Like I, I have spent time wearing back braces where you like cinch it tight around your waist and it just feels really good. I'm kind of experiencing that feeling right now after all that core work. Let's swing those arms from side to side, enjoying the feel good. Oh, what a nice way to go through the middle of the week, to start the middle of the week in that downhill descent into the weekend in a good way, downhill descent for two and one and come to center. All right, guys. And then uh, we've got an extra minute. So uh, let's take those left toes, reach them back. If it feels okay for you, bend that knee back behind. If you want more and it's available, reach back and grab onto that foot bringing those knees together, maybe reaching the opposite arm forward. I'm layering on really quickly, but you can stop at whichever level is good and safe for you. And then maybe begin to kick that foot into the hand, sliding those fingertips forward and breathe. Ooh, and hold, loving it, you guys are so balanced. For three and two and one, gracefully come to center and release and then we'll do that on the other side and, and again i'm moving through these transitions quickly but certainly stick with a version that is good for you toes down knee 90 degree angle bend the, the knee grab the foot reach the arm forward and then maybe slide those fingertips forward kicking that rear foot into that hand if you're looking at something that's not moving it will help to stabilize you and reach and reach and kick and reach for four and three two and whoop, gracefully come up to center and release. Good job, guys. Coming in for our final roll down. Reach those arms overhead, drop the shoulders, and curl the fingertips over, tuck the chin to the chest, roll down. Vertebrae by vertebrae. When you get to the bottom, nod your head. Heck yes, I feel amazing. Shake your head. No, no, no. And then, guys, softness in the knees. Head is heavy, roll up vertebrae by vertebrae, coming all the way up. When you get to the top, shoulders up, back and down, up, back and down. One more time, up, back and down. Walk into your Wednesday with your awesome posture. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you're on YouTube with me, thanks for finding me and watching me. And please like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, hope you all have a fabulous day.